Now, in this next part then, we've got to find the tension in the rope at Q, TQ in other words, in terms of X. And what you'll notice is I've updated the diagram with the tension in the rope at P from the previous answer, 588 minus 350X Newtons. So, to get this tension uh, uh, in the rope at Q, all I need to do now is just simply resolve upwards. If we resolve upwards, the resultant force upwards is going to be TP plus TQ. Well, TP is 588 minus 350X. And then we've got plus TQ. And then we've got forces acting downwards. We've got the minus 50G. And we've got the minus 20G. So this is the resultant force acting on the beam in the vertical direction. And that resultant force is equal to zero because it's in equilibrium. So from this, I can make TQ the subject by rearranging the equation. I've got minus 50G and minus 20G. That's minus 70G. If I add that to both sides, I've got 70G over here. Then I've got minus 588 and plus 350X. Take G as 9.8 on your calculator and you'll find that you've got 70 times 9.8 minus 588 and that gives 98. 98 then plus 350X. And so that is the tension in Newtons in the rope at Q. OK, now you could have taken moments, if you like, about P, say, and I'll leave it up to you. Hopefully, you should arrive at exactly the same answer. In fact, you can take moments about P or X or the midpoint here. You should still end up with this answer. You should try it as an experiment, but really, the most efficient way is just simply to resolve upwards. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.